Hi all, I am Nitesh Kohar and welcome back to our channel, Amal4 Analytics. In this video tutorial, we will be studying about that how we can provision an elastic pool or the SQL elastic pool in Azure service. And we will also see that what are the advantages of creating an elastic pool over the individual databases. So let's move on with it. And for that, first of all, you have to go to the Azure portal and search for elastic pool over here then here is the SQL elastic pool that we are looking for so just click on it click on add button over here and it will help you to create a new elastic pool or you can just also click over this create SQL elastic pool logo so um, First of all, you have to select the resource group that you want. Either you can create a new one and or you can use the existing one. In my case, I'm using my existing one that is ML4 Analytics. And we also have to provide a name to our Elastic Pool. So let's provide it as ML E Pool. And here is the one thing that you should note. In the server part, it asks you that which server you want to put into the Elastic Pool. The point over here is considering, let's say you have two servers, ML server 01 and ML server 02, and both have few databases. However, both the servers cannot share one same elastic pool. Only the databases of a single server, of a single SQL server, can share a single elastic pool. So, let me show you the databases that we have in that. Let's go to the all resources. And these are the two servers. Let's go to the ML server 01. Here you can see that we have all this data and these two databases that MLDB01 and MLDB02. And these are the two different pricing tiers for them. That is, MLDB01 is on basic and MLDB02 is on standard S0, that is 10 DQs. And point of no note over there is. For example, if I select ML Server 01 over here in this elastic pool and provide it, uh, provide it 100 EDUs and 100 GB database, then accordingly, this pricing tier for this DB also will increase. That is, both of these will be sharing the same resources being provided by this elastic pool that we are about to create, and both of them will share these resources. So, it's a kind of upgrade as well for your databases which didn't have the that much power or you didn't want to provide them power at that much time at that time because there was not big usage for them so you can just simply put them into the elastic pool and the and they will just share the resources and for the if i talk about ml server 02 here also we have a single database on basic pricing tier so let's go back to our elastic pool and configure it. So these are the, I would say like what kind of configuration or the pricing configuration of power you want to provide to your system. And if I talk about the basic, it is 50 EDTUs and 4.88 GB max. And these are the standard, standard one. And here I can just select the number of EDTUs and data as well and the min value for both of these is like for ED2 this is 50 reduce at least and data max size is 50 GB also similarly like the SQL servers you can, or the standard SQL databases you can go to the v code base for sharing options and select any number of codes that you want the basic uh, the basic or the general purpose you can say provides us two cores and the minimum of 8 GB data and if we go to the databases currently there are no databases that we have added over here though I will be selecting only the server let's say I am selecting only ML server 01 by creating this elastic pool and not selecting the databases then we will only be getting server entry over there but not the databases though we can add them later at a later point and we will be doing that only I will show you how we can do that. So these are the per databases, database settings that we can do. And see, we are adding the databases over here. 
and these are the generalized pool settings. So let's go back and select the standard one with 50 EDPUs and the max data size is 50 GB. Let's click on apply. Remember, we are selecting ML Server 01. We haven't provided any databases of this server to it yet, though we will be providing that at a later point. Let's click on next. And just one more thing, if you are interested in how you can create these servers and with some sample data, if you want, like say, you want to create these MLDB01 or 02 in, in Azure with some sample data and want to create some users as well and provide their appropriate roles, then I will be providing a link to you for the steps of provisioning SQL Server into the Azure and or you can say I, that link will be a tutorial created by me only in, and you can just go through the tutorial for all the details you need. So let's go to the Elastic Pool again and let's provide it some tags, let's say ML for it, ML for analytics, review and create. So this is the cost that we are talking about while creating the Elastic Pool. However, the biggest advantage while creating Elastic Pool will be that multiple databases will be sharing same resources. So let's say if, if I have if I have a two databases, each using 50 DT. For example, I have MLDB01 using 50 DT. Then second. MLDB02 using 50 DTU, total of 100 DTUs, though we know that DB01 is only used for 3 hours per day and we need at least that many DTUs for that. Similarly, we also know that DB02 is also used only for 3 to 4 hours in complete day and their timings does not coincide. For example, one is, work, one is highly used between 10 am to 12 pm or you can say 4 pm and the other one is used at 6 p.m. to let's say 12 a.m. Their timings are not coinciding. So we are paying extra for 50 EDTUs. Instead, what we can do that is we are providing the shared resources and since their times are not coinciding, so same resources can be reused and we pay less. That is the greatest advantage of Elastic Pool. So let's click on create. Creating a Elastic Pool may take a little bit of time, so I will be skipping this part and will be jumping on directly onto the final product with you. So guys, our Elastic Pool is ready and let's go to the resource. So this is the resource that we are looking at. This is our Elastic Pool. Resource group is ML4 Analytics, status ready, location UK South, and these are subscribe subscription IDs corresponding to this ePool and as you can see here are the databases that is marked as zero earlier we didn't provide any kind of database to it so what we have to do is if i want to select any kind of databases from ml server 01 which is the default server we wanted to move into the elastic pool just click on this databases and it will show you the list of databases being present and over here you can see that there is a add databases functionality just go and click over here and here are the databases which have been created by me earlier and you can select any number of databases from here and they will just be moved into this elastic pool so let's just click on apply and you can now see that these are moved over here so what else we can do over here is like we can go and change the like configuration other configuration or the details of this pool and mark it as basic or the standard or the premium whichever you want so let's again let's keep it with the standard one and click on save so kind of this is like if you want to change the scaling of your server moving from basic to standard or standard to premium or weak or waste any kind of thing if you want to do then this is the thing that you will be doing let's go back to the overview and back to the databases since it is saving the details, they are not visible over here. So let's, as you can see, this is in progress. They are gray over here. So it may take some time to move the databases from server locations to directly this ePool. 
Now you can see that both of our databases that we have added earlier are now available in this ePool. And similar to other surfaces of Azure, you can do the firewall configuration and everything like that in this as well. For that you have the different security matrices and also you can analyze its log over here in the logs and diagnostic settings. For the control or like the IP I was talking about the firewall, just go to the access control. And over here, you can just assign the different roles to people whom you want to provide access and different kind of stuff like that. And if you want to add the server level configuration or the server level security, just go to the SQL Server Management. Here is the SQL Servers. And go to the ML Server 01. Here you can set up the failover groups and if we talk about the security, here is the advanced data security options, firewalls and virtual networks that we want to allow on this server. You can just do that over here and I would recommend that you move on with the security of the ELS 1.2 because this is the latest and highest level security being provided at the moment for data transfer from one location to another. So guys, this is it for now that, um, and you can just, if you have any kind of questions regarding that, how we can do different kind of things with Elastic Pool or any other kind of service with the SEO related to SQL or anything else, just please do comment and let me know. And if you want to study something else in SEO, just let me know into the comments. I will create a video for you. and. Thanks, thanks a lot for watching this video. Please do subscribe and like and share. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.